Lesson 102 is about absolute value inequalities. Let's just start by doing a practice problem and let's figure out what this inequality is. Let's simplify this and then we'll graph it. And what we'll do is just do our usual steps when we have an inequality and we want to graph it. We get the x by itself and in this case we'll get the absolute value of x by itself. So first we would add a negative 3 to both sides and we'd have negative absolute value of x is greater than a negative 8. Then we need to divide through by negative 1. Remember what happens there. You reverse the inequality when you do that and then this becomes a positive 8 over here. So we have the absolute value of x is less than 8. Now let's just think about that. For what values of x would that statement hold true? Let's just go ahead and make a number line and the number line will help us visualize what we're doing here. This will have to be a pretty long number line. I'll just start like with negative 9 over here. Now I just went ahead and wrote all the numbers on there so you wouldn't have to sit there and wait for me to do all that. But there's the number line that we can use and think of values that would make that statement true. Values that would say the absolute value of x is less than 8. Well, a positive 8, if we started there, we would put an open circle there because we don't include 8, we're saying less than 8. And so a 7, that would work, a 6, a 5, a 4. So we could just start heading this way. And then think about negative 1. The absolute value of negative 1 is a 1, and so that's less than 8. And so we'll continue all the way over to negative 8 where we'll put another open circle because the absolute value of negative 8 equals 8, but we want to be less than 8, so we have to say open circle there. And so it would be this region right here. This shaded in region satisfies that absolute value inequality. Let's try another one. The absolute value of x is less than negative 3. Well, what values of the absolute value of x would be less than negative 3? Well, you just have to think about it. Absolute value of x is always greater than or equal to 0, right? The absolute value of 0 is 0. The absolute value of any other number is a positive number. So the absolute value of x will never be less than negative 3. So that equation there, or that inequality, is we would just call that an empty set or a null set. There is no set of numbers that satisfies that inequality. And usually what we do is just say a zero with a slash through it, or you could write just braces for a set like that. No numbers in between the braces. Now try this one. Practice problem C. Absolute value of x is greater than negative 3. Well, the absolute value of any number is going to be greater than or equal to 0. So then it's definitely greater than negative 3. So this would include all numbers. So we could just draw a number line. And we could shade the whole thing in to represent that we're including all numbers in this set. So the absolute value of x greater than a negative number, that means any number. Any number, its absolute value will be greater than negative 3. Let's do one more. Minus the absolute value of x is greater than or equal to 0. Well, we need to get rid of that minus sign, so we multiply both sides by a negative 1, and that reverses the inequality. So we have absolute value of x less than or equal to 0. Now, let's go ahead and do a number line. And we have the absolute value of x less than or equal to 0. Well, the absolute value of any number, it cannot be less than 0. It can be equal to it, but it can't be less than. So there's only one answer here. There's just a dot at 0. 
that would be the set representing that inequality expression, absolute value of x less than or equal to zero. So when you're doing these inequalities, just try to remember what absolute value means. Absolute value of any non-zero number is a positive number, and then the absolute value of zero is equal to zero. Okay, well that's all for lesson 102.